Okay, we got that. <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> I want my work to be good for my father, you know. So I think that pressure is making it a little intense. If there's anything that I'm regretful about, is it's the fact that I, I can't spend as much time with my father as I would like. And yeah, he messaged me recently and said best of luck for the film, and I said right back at you. And there was like an undercurrent of like competitiveness, <laughs> but but no, I'm just kidding. We really do. I think they'll say wish the best for each other because we started out together, yeah. and I think that a part of us will always kind of root for, for the other. other yeah 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 it was the first time i was like maybe i should just give up acting <laughs> and oh maybe i should just become like like you know one of those onset moms who like baby kill juice lao baby kill yeah like a proper momager hello everyone welcome to news 18 shosha and today we have with us the gorgeous janvi kapoor hi hi janvi hi how are you, you doing i'm good thank you for having me has the anxiety eased off because i remember you speaking about it uh, prior to the release of the film are you in a better state of mind i was wondering <laughs> if there's some uh, secret ploy but no i'm still just as anxious yeah uh. <laughs> do you still feel these pangs before every release of course also because it's my first theatrical since ruhi right and i don't have like raj or varun sharma or like nadi upar backing me <laughs> it's just like me in a freezer so yeah i'm very nervous <laughs> but in general janvi how do you really uh, fight these uh, anxious pangs because i remember we this was long time back though we spoke during your first film and you said that uh, you know you you do get these anxiety attacks because you're trying to deal with so many things that was your first film how do you still fight it today oh i think it's gotten worse actually really? yeah it has i think uh m- more so with this film because uh it's my first film with dad mm. and i think more than for me i wanted to to have a respectable reception for him um i want my work to be good for my father you know so i think that pressure is making it a little intense so i remember this interview that anna ben uh, had given earlier this year she said that though she hasn't really watched the film but she did speak to mathu sir and uh, you know he was raving about you really yeah and she said that i know for a fact that janvi is has done a brilliant job and she's waiting to watch the film have you had an exchange with anna no i haven't i think she just reposted the trailer hmm. if i'm not mistaken um which was very sweet of her but uh, i've been very fortunate with the remakes that i've done i think cuz the people that i've who've played my characters originally have been very supportive even rinku for dhadak every time i've met her she yeah. was so sweet and uh, nayantara ma'am um when my trailer came out she spoke about it and then when i messaged her she she said such sweet things and even anna has been so supportive so it it really means a lot because they've done such iconic work that one cannot even think of touching mm-hmm. um and i've had the audacity to attempt it um and they've been so gracious about it so i'm very glad uh you know coming to mili uh, so this is of course a very very challenging role not just emotionally i'm assuming physically also yeah. it must have been quite a task what makes you take up these roles janvi apart from you know of course proving your craft this roles that take so much out of you physically i think to the extent where you even felt sick yeah um so your question is what attracts me to torturing myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> basically that i think i get excited every time i feel like i can push myself as an actor because i've realized doing the generic thing and being just about good isn't going to cut it for people mm-hmm. and it's not going to cut it for myself either because i know i have a lot more to offer and i don't know what else i have to offer other than other than the fact that i'm willing to go the extra mile for my art and so i prefer picking up opportunities of films that give me the platform to do that and um mili was one such film in fact i think every film that i've done or have picked to do hmm. hasn't been a conventional choice yeah and i think that comes more from a place of i just want to prove to myself that i can do things that i didn't expect that i could do either 
But then where do you really draw the line? Because you had, uh, I remember saying that your therapist had once, I think, recommended you to take it sort of slow. Yeah. <laughs> or easy. Where do you yeah. really draw that line? I should have drawn it. <laughs> now you realize yeah. <laughs> yeah two dislocated shoulders later <laughs> no I, I I don't know I think you can make that choice for yourself hmm. I think that now is not the time for me to slow down or take it easy now is the time for me to push myself as much as I can and I'm a strong girl I can yeah. I can take it I can um, I love my work too much I love my art too much I believe too much in what I want to do with my work Yeah. to take it easy hmm. So it's fine if I sleep less for one month, as long as um, as long as it means something at the end of it. But you know, uh, while you're pushing yourself so much, how do you really find that time for your family members, for your friends? If there's anything that I'm regretful about, is it's the fact that I I can't spend as much time with my father as I would like. Mm. Like just yesterday, I I came back home really late at night. My flight landed late. Hmm. And he was waiting up for me and I couldn't sit with him for more than 5-10 minutes because I knew I had to sleep because I had to wake up early in the morning. And if I woke up tired, I wouldn't have the energy to do cricket training after doing a whole day of interviews. Yeah. And so I was like, I really want to sit with him and just talk to him. But I like I can't and it's yeah. and this is just one example of one day and it's been happening a lot. And um yeah, it makes me feel sad. I'm sure the same goes for your sister also because I remember you saying that you were very upset you couldn't be around her on a first day of shoot. Yeah. Yeah, it was the first time I was like, maybe I should just give up acting. <laughs> and oh maybe I should just become like, like, you know, one of those onset moms who like, baby, kill you, juice lao. Baby, kill you. Yeah, like a proper momager. Because, God, if I, like, what's the point of any of it if I'm not being mm. able to be there for my family? But I'm doing it for them, so... Hopefully, it'll all be fine in the end. You know, speaking of your dad, uh, Boni, sir, he is very fond of you, of course, and he's extremely... You better be, he's my dad. <laughs> he's very, very proud of your work. <laughs> we have spoken to him. But uh, does he also, like, give you positive inputs, criticism about your work? Yeah, I think he's very honest with me. I think that his main problem with me is that I... He thinks I'm underconfident. Hmm. But I beg to differ. I think I'm a realist. Hmm. Uh, he thinks that I undermine myself too much. I think that I know what I have going for me and I know what I need to work on and I know how the world perceives me. Um, so I think he's constantly trying to make sure or like remind me that I have, that I'm good. Yeah, yeah. And I'm constantly trying to tell him that, no, I need to be better. Hmm. So that's the constant tussle that we have. <laughs> Uh, what was his reaction really when you watched you in the film? I mean, of course, I'm sure he saw you working on set. Yeah. But what was his reaction when you watched the film? Millie? I think he's seen the film like three, four times and he's come home crying every time. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Bida. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he, he told us, Janvi, that uh, so every time a film of yours releases because, you know, uh, Till that time, you were the only actor in the family. And of course, now your sister and your dad, they have also fallen into acting. So he told us that, you know, every time there's a film of Janvi that releases, we all sit down or watch it together. And then we actually have a discussion about yeah. the film, you know. Yeah. Uh, but somehow, Kushi is never a part of that discussion. <laughs> have things changed now, now that, you know, she's also an actor? Yeah, but she's too straightforward. Like, she has no time for bullshit. So like, I mean, not that, the, discussing the film is bullshit but she'll just she'll watch the film and she'll be like very good or she'll watch the film and she'll be like eh. and that's it oh she's like no nonsense yeah she's like I won't indulge in like what could have happened what should have this is what it is it's good now like go to sleep don't try to fish for compliments too much yeah. or like this is what it is could have been better work harder the next time she's very like to the point. Uh, so along with Millie uh, you know uh, another film uh, that it's releasing which is uh, I think Ishan's film. Yes. And he's your, he was a first co-star. Yeah. So ha have you watched the trailer? Has there been any exchange between the two of you? I have seen the trailer and I thought it was looking like a lot of fun. Um, and I, I, I think we had spoken briefly when he was about to sign the film. Yeah. Or something like that. And, you know, I know a little bit about it and it sounds like such an exciting premise. Um, and yeah, he messaged me recently and said, best of luck for the film. And I said, right back at you. And there was like an undercurrent of like competitiveness. <laughs> but but no, I'm just kidding. We really do. I think 
dil se wish the best for each other because we started out together yeah. and i think that a part of us were always kind of root for, for the each other. other yeah yeah you know four years into the business would you say that you have become braver as an artist as an actor today i'd like to think so i don't know you guys tell me i think i've become more confident i think i've become less apologetic hmm. i think that i've lost the patience to be diplomatic completely um but yeah i i think that i've become more confident for sure but has it become difficult janvi saying no to projects no it's become I hope this doesn't sound arrogant. It's become a little easier. Okay. Because I think at the start there was a lot of insecurity about should ye film aa gayi pata nahi aur kuch aayega ya nahi aayega ha bol do kar lo. Mm-hmm. I'd approach like the start of every situation like that and then finally I'd be like nahi dil se decision lena chahiye. Dil ki baat suno and then I'd make my decision. But I think I'd lead people on quite a bit before that. <laughs> um but now it's more like i think i know what i can offer yeah. and i think there's that sense of i don't know if i want to spend my time and energy on something that isn't going to be fruitful for me right um or like isn't being made with the intention of giving the audiences an experience i think that i want to stick to everything that i'm preaching mm-hmm. which is my belief and passion for cinema yeah and i'm feeling more confident in sticking to that approach even in my decision making with films i mean as an audience i definitely feel do feel that you know you have become way braver as an thank artist you. because of primarily your film choices so kudos to you on that thank you you know after good luck jerry this milli would will we be able to see you in something more light hearted in that space i really late? hope so i i did a little bit of comedy in good luck jerry and yeah. i really enjoyed it and uh, i've been dying to do a comedy because i think wo jo asli actor ka thappa tabhi milta hai when you can make audiences laugh that's and very tough i've yeah and i i think i've made them cry a little bit <laughs> a lot so i now i i want to make them laugh great great looking forward to that <laughs> uh, so is bade mein ya chote mein happening okay we got that <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so uh, janvi before we let you go we have some uh, fan questions that we have picked up for you okay so sahasvi asks um, janvi is it true that you're making a your telugu debut with nagashwin's film no i don't know but you know she says uh, considering how much you love mahanati we wish to see you soon here i really am obsessed with that film and kirti suresh's work i think she was phenomenal but i really do want to do a south film soon so fingers crossed something happens great uh, so this is jitesh from punjab and uh, so this is not a question he just told me to tell you that uh, please tell her that i love her and she motivates me to work out oh <laughs> that's so sweet thank you yeah uh, so this is radha She asks Varun, Ishan, or Sunny, with whom do you have the best on-screen chemistry? With how can I say people should decide? What do you personally think? I haven't seen Bawal yet, but from what I can gauge from how we shot the film, I think me and Varun have a very like an easy chemistry with each other. But I think me and Sunny are also cute only in Mili, and me and Ishan and Dhadak, we were both like two cute kids. I think the I think one of the things the film had going for it the most was the energy between us. So can I say all three? But Bawal is releasing next, so maybe I should say Varun. But Mili is releasing now, so maybe I should say Sunny. Very diplomatic of you, Janvi. Just all three. I don't know. Uh, so this is at the rate Janvi's giggle. <laughs> <laughs> She asks, um, or he asks, uh, tell us about your bond with Manish Malhotra. M M is he honestly is one of my favorite people. He has genuinely believed in me from before I think I believed in myself before my parents believed in me. I think M was like this girl and I think it's his undying support that gives me so much strength to do so many things and he's just such a visionary. I think I look up to him not just because he's evolved the fashion world in india so much but because of who he is as a human being yeah he's yeah. such a creative force in this industry right. in this country that um i just i look up to him and i love him to death that's so sweet so this is uh, akshay he asks anything you want to undo from your life mm, no no no
this is adare disha sharma she asks uh, you have been out and about lately with not only promotions but also hanging out with a lot of your friends love every bit of it but also curious the pictures show that you share a warm bond with orhan can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with ori is going to be so happy that he was asked about um ori i've known for years now and he's someone that i not only have so much fun with but um he's had my back for a long time and i've had his back and i think i don't know it it just it feels like home when he's around and uh, i trust him a lot and i think it's rare to find friends who will stand up for you the way that he stands up for his friends so yeah he's a great guy great and let me wrap this up with asking you so in milli we see your character you know almost witnessing this uh, near death experience in life have you experienced something like that where you felt like oh my god i think this is it yeah i think i spoke about it on coffee when me and sara went to kedarnath oh, and the we were climb yeah, yeah. I, i swear i'm not kidding i was like i messed up we definitely might die <laughs> it was definitely that and um Yeah, I think that and uh, but you know when you're on a flight with a lot of turbulence many times you're like yeah. shit it's it's super scary I yeah. agree. Well on that note thank you so much Janvi and all the very best for Milly. Thank you please to watch it on Absolutely. the 4th of November in theaters near you. Hi guys this is Janvi Kapoor and you're watching me on News18 Shosha.